This kite foil tutorial looks at a basic front roll. You should already be able to do kite foil jumps easily. And you should be able to do rotations with a non-foil board. The front roll uses the kite control of a small jump. Let's look a bit closer at the trick. You need both feet in the foot straps. Ride in with medium speed, leaning back to foil upwind and create plenty of line tension. Steer the kite up to 12. Only steer up enough for a small jump. As the kite is about to hit 12, you begin launching. Push down on the back foot so the foil climbs and lifts you rapidly and gradually pull in the bar so the kite starts lifting you as well. Then, just before the foil leaves the water, you must create the rotation. Raise your front knee first, then tilt your upper body forwards. You need to start the rotation just before your foil leaves the water. Turn your head and shoulders into the rotation during rotation, keep the bar straight, not steering left or right. When you're confident of landing, start diving the kite down from 12, enough to ride away. As you land, lower the nose of your board slightly. This will help the foil move forwards as it sinks into the water. Let the foil descend fully to soften your landing. Then you can ride away as the kite moves down from 12. Let's look at that riding the other way. Adding the rotation for a kite foil front roll must be done firmly and at exactly the right time. If you try to add the rotation early, while the foil is deeper in the water, then all the rotation will be gone before you take off. Or if you try to add the rotation late, after the foil has left the water, you can't push off the water to create rotation. So, you must add the rotation at the last moment you are in contact with the water. That way you are still pushing off the water with your foil to create rotation. Plus you then keep that rotation as soon as you're airborne. That's why you must start the rotation just before the foil exits the water. The front roll can be difficult to land. Because of the direction of the rotation, the foil can naturally come in to land with its trailing edge or stabilizer aiming forwards. To prevent this, you need to keep the foil beneath you during rotation. Keep your body upright during takeoff and relax your legs to keep the foil beneath you during hang time. This will hugely reduce how much the foil swings around you. Whereas if you bring the foil to your side during rotation, the board swings around more and the foil's trailing edge or stabilizer leads the way. You then land with the foil moving backwards. Thanks for watching and good luck learning kite foil front rolls.